kickoff going. Tell me, how do you feel about these two teams in this match? I think it's going to be fun. I, I have a lot of concerns, though, about the endpoint offense. And now, quickly off kickoff, good play from Metza, who has been uh, pretty good on defense. But I have just had uh, many instances watching endpoint where I feel the the offense just it's not there. So I want to see more offensive firepower, and that's not really a problem you see from the Giants. You've seen Tox, you've seen Stake, you've seen Zamway all be able to step up and, and make high-powered offensive plays. And the last time I saw him point play, Virtuoso did a lot of the scoring. We'll see what we'll see what happens. I'm gonna wait and see. I think that if I'm on the desk, I'm liking the Giants. But uh, that's why we play the game. It's as good a pick as any, and it's been neutral so far. But endpoint, they've had a couple of scary ones today. And I only got a chance to catch one of their games earlier. But Virtuoso continues to be Virtuoso for this team. And whenever you talk about Endpoint, you have to talk about him and the impact his physical play has in the field. But it's Zamway picking up the first demo. The Vodafone Giants, again, no one really able to grab control yet, but a whiff might give a chance to someone Endpoint with Virtuoso pick up the save. Still looking. Well, Virtuoso won't find anything, but he did clear a lane for Metzenaris, and that will be a relating wave goal and end points first. And if, if it works, then it works. <laughs> you see Virtuoso missing his first attempt, going back for seconds, gets the demo, and relating wave will punch, punch that one in. And this is not a strategy we're unfamiliar with, Jarby. We've seen Virtuoso play that card quite a bit. It's his calling card. And if it works, why not? Oh, oh Zamway. You said it, James. Great shot from Zamway. Zamway in the corner. That is how you respond. Tox getting those passes off the corner, kind of ping-ponging back and forth for a bit. But Zamway hitting his mark. That was a tough angle to hit. Struck it with authority. He even had to slow down for a bit because that hit from Tox in the corner was a bit unorthodox. But no sweat. Off the kickoff, it was the Giants trying to take control. Endpoint going to be a little slower to the ball. Very tight rotation here for the Giants. Their third and second man both get taken out of the play. Tox is tasked just to buy time. He bought enough of it. Zamway just sat there and said, go ahead, Relating Wave. Go ahead and go anywhere with that ball. I'm going to steal it away from you. Breakaway opportunity, though. Relating Wave is there, and he beats Tox. And that's another goal for Endpoint. They caught him looking. Metz uh, over to Virtuoso. Virtuoso center ball to Relating Wave. Talks. You thought he could get there in time, but he was a step slow to it. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from Endpoint. We're seeing Metzenaris kickstarting that play. Relating Wave being in that position to be the finisher. I didn't really see much of him the last time I casted the, these guys. And now another shot coming in, but that one saved away by Zamway. Solid start for Endpoint. The relating Wave's stardom seems to come in waves. Which what we see with, you know, a lot of up and coming players relating wave is. Do you, are you meaning to make that pun or no? No, I did not mean to make. All right, I, we'll oh, continue. wave. You know, I honestly we'll didn't even. Continue. It's OK. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, but this might be one of those days where everything is just working right for him, though. He has to give away from Mezzanaris off the backboard who completely missed the ball and oh, they got. Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> I thought for sure that was going in. I had faith. And I was not rewarded, James. Yeah, uh, you were not. And neither <laughs> was the Giants. As now they're going to get a shot coming in. I was on Stake's point of view as he got demoed. Couldn't even see the, the how that play uh, panned out. But we are seeing some struggles from the Giants. Virtuoso up. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a pit bull. He, he just doesn't let go. He does not at all. Maybe just a bull. Maybe just a straight up bull in the oh. arena. And he's loose. It doesn't matter. Bumps and demos. He finds all of them. The only time we really saw Virtuoso be ineffective lately was when they played Guild last week, where when we brought Greg in on for the post game interview, he said, yeah, we specifically game plan for Virtuoso because that's how Endpoint liked to play the game. And Guild were able to exploit that, but Vodafone Giants are getting a, hel a heaping helping 
of this virtuoso physical play. And Relating Wave makes another great steal, oh, and Metsonaris man. just pumps another one in. And I should have never doubted Ed Point. This is a thing of beauty. Metsa getting up quick. You can see Stake trying to come off the, the back of the net, but it makes it so predictable where he's going. Metsa had time to line up that shot, executes wonderfully. And a one-sided affair in game one. And you're looking at Vodafone Giants now, probably looking towards game two, and asking yourself, well, what exactly went wrong? Well, it's just one man, it's a one-man army in front with Virtuoso. They gotta find a way to avoid those bumps and demos. They're a little flat on the line. They're expecting shots when the shots are delayed from endpoint, buying enough time for one or two players to be able to get a bump or at least force the defender to rush out. This is good from Tox though, and Stake. So, all right, maybe a little too late in the game, but this is great moving forward for Giants. That's the hustle you want to see from Tox. Hits Stake on the move, using up every ounce of boost to get the ball to him. Stake finishing that play off. Maybe they can get something going off kickoff and maybe we called it too early, we'll see. Ooh, maybe not with a nice fake from Relating Wave. Tox can't handle the ball and all three orange cars cross stars and uh, no one touches the ball and that will put the dagger in it for game one likely. Tox, he was bamboozled right there, Jarby. He thought Relating Wave was going to take that first hit. Relating Wave delays it, goes for the flick. Tox tries to hit it. Nowhere close. Rebound goal for Endpoint. And like you said, this one is over now. A three-goal lead. And that play from Relating Wave to really end the game, that was well done by him. Metza getting a hat trick. Going to get another one here. Wow. Six goals for the Giants. And not only... Four goals now for Metzenaris, but three assists for Relating Wave with two goals of his own. And Virtuoso happily sitting at the bottom at two assists and two saves. But maybe even one of those will give you a third. Two playmakers. Just as involved as Relating Wave was, but Endpoint playing <laughs> like a complete unit. They really know how to play around each other. They understand each other's strengths. And that's Virtuoso's strength. Yeah, just, still just bully you wherever you are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. Even on the kickoff, they had two players. Endpoint had two players just sitting back in net. The ball comes back to him now. That pinpoint accurate pass. Shot towards net. A hat trick and a playmaker for Relating Wave. You don't see that too often. He doesn't have any saves, so we, we can't get the triple crown with 10 seconds left. So that's the only sad part about this for Relating Wave. Could still get that at zero seconds. I guess that is possible, but that would be quite a sequence for a seven to two game. <laughs> and Endpoint will uh, casually take game one. Casually indeed, it's, it felt routine. Watching it, it felt routine for Endpoint. From the very beginning, you had Virtuoso doing what he does best, getting those bumps and demos. You had Metzenaris with his accurate shots, relating wave, patient plays, even that play when the game was still within reach. Uh, he makes that fake and then pops it over Tox. Tox had no chance. As we take a look at the replays from this game, that first goal of the game coming off the Virtuoso demo, we saw the immediate response off a, a, a really well-placed shot from uh, Zamway. And then... That was... Go for it. Oh, you can go ahead, Jorby. I love hearing what you have to say. Oh, I was just saying that, uh, you know, that team play right there, even from Relating Wave, I know that you had mentioned earlier you felt that he was kind of quiet maybe last week for Endpoint's run. And today he is making, I mean, everyone is making an impact. I feel like Metzenaris is uh, just reaping the rewards of a lot of the work that Virtuoso and Relating Wave are doing. But sometimes that's the role you have to play. That's just the way the card, uh, the hand is dealt to you. So for, Vo for Vodafone Giants, though, James, if, you know, I'm them, game one didn't happen reset because that was just you don't want to think about that anymore you, you really don't it was so one-sided didn't really see much from the giants other than that shot from the corner which was a good shot but we're going to see how they contend with the aggression from virtuoso that seems so effective for endpoint and endpoint playing as a team so things started off with a bang literally for endpoint virtuoso you know, you could think anything you want about demos, but when you're as consistent as he is 
it's really hard to really hard to knock him for his skill in that department, but Virtuoso's got a little bit more to him. He just knows how much space demos create. So we'll see Vodafone Giants. They start to get set up in midfield. Stake following Tox closely for this. Zamway with no boost, he's gonna be forced back on this as Tox tried to buy time, but the ball never falls down for anyone on the Giants. Finally, Zamway gets a piece, but low on boost, he's gonna be slow back to the ball, which makes it an easy challenge for Relating Wave and Vodafone Giants. Oh. Nice little launch from Tox. And a great save from Metzenaris, but Tox can't find the goal. Virtuoso with a follow-up save. About as good as a look as they got so far. I can't believe Metz got back for that. Metz, uh, he, had, he had come up too far on the play. And given Tox that shooting lane, Tox takes it. Metz and Aris, I did not think was going to be able to get back. And now Virtuoso streaking back in time. Not the greatest strike from Tox. Now, counterattack opportunity, 2v1. Metz, uh, Backward bounce, it's up for Relating Wave, going for the double, but he didn't get it. Just off on that one. Some good back and forth early in game two. Ooh, nice touch from Relating Wave. Everybody on Giants were set up in a line, ready to receive that rebound. So crucial touch out to the corner and they're back on offense. Relating Wave, his next challenge, what from Metzenaris ends up the other way. Zamway set up, but he can't get a strong enough touch. Virtuoso was lurking on the other end, but still, that was a potential opportunity that never came. Tox did well to get that ball out to him. And Zamway just failing to make the touch that was required. And you think that could have been a better opportunity for the Giants, who had some possession this game. They've been doing very well retaining possession, getting uh, position to, to get that final shot, but they have not been able to crack this code. Ooh, broken passing play there from Relating Wave and Virtuoso, I believe. But Virtuoso will pick it back up as he gets harassed from behind in the oh, corner. Metzenaris oh. snipe from the crossbar and he punches it in. Beautifully done, Metzenaris. I don't know how he constantly finds these from <laughs> midfield. Virtuoso got pull shot into that center and Metzenaris, that was... That was the shot you love to make as a player. You're coming across the infield. You got a ball coming down to you. It's the upside down shot that you're trying to get as much hot sauce on as possible. And man, that thing was covered in it. But a response coming out from Stake and we've got a tie game, Jorby. Off the kickoff, Tox was able to force it out to the right. And then the awareness on the pass from Zamway. As soon as he sees the challenge, he doesn't try to control the ball off the ceiling like you see most times up there. Instead, it's just a quick double hop downward into the ball to get the pass down to his teammate. That was excellent from Zamway. Excellent recognition and speed, but in a little bit of trouble as Virtuoso picks this up. The 50 could still be end points, but Metzenaris, mm. I guess that gives a little <laughs> bit of space, but the bump sends her laning wave to the sky. Virtuoso, he's got no boost but he's still going for bumps. He doesn't need to rotate. Boost is a crutch for our uh, demolition technician in Virtuoso. Trying to play it back. Zamway making a challenge, which will buy some time here for the Vodafone Giants. Everybody was sitting back <laughs> from the first man and Tox, uh, you lost to the fancy footwork of Metzenaris. And he's also getting harassed again by Virtuoso. The most oh. aggressive player I've ever seen play. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Does he get a third? Look at him, he's just pushing Zamway out. Like, what are you gonna do? It doesn't matter, because we're laying away the ball. <laughs> he can just roll around and do whatever. It's, it's, it's almost like we're watching Heat Seeker. I don't know if you remember <laughs> that game mode. Oh yeah. You just, you stick somebody on the, on the keepers. And that is exactly what Virtuoso is doing. That's why he practices. Does he have that? Oh my goodness. I knew Tox was there first, but based on what had happened so far, when I see uh, Relating Wave coming down off the ceiling like that, I almost believe it. It's been pretty slow though, despite the tie game. There haven't been a lot of high pressure opportunities or really extended stays on either half. It's been long balls, long attempted passes. A lot of that, what you're seeing, but it's challenged away again. Tough read for Metza. Does get a piece of it and a good follow-up from Relating Wave. 
Yeah, you're right, Jarby. We've seen some setup opportunities. Nothing too crazy, however. Most of the time, just these teams vying for control, vying for possession. And that one saved by Virtuoso. Demo. Another follow-up shot right into the net. Zamway. That was a blistering shot, Jarby. Did the demo even matter here? I mean, oh wait, I think it was the, it doesn't matter. Like that I think is it did. 127 kilometers per hour. Like the time it took was Zamway's bumper to go before I could blink. That's how fast that was. And it's a Vodafone giant lead, but end point off the kickoff. Relating wave, Virtuoso was cutting in on the rotation. Had he stayed back, they might've had a chance, but it is all for naught. And the Vodafone Giants easily tie this, well, easily, but tie it back up. Yeah, I would say it was <laughs> not necessarily a walk in the park. It was, that well, demo, just, it, it, yeah. it was funny how much aggression we saw out of Virtuoso in that game. So many demos, so many bumps. But in the end, it was a demo for the Giants that opened up the goal line and they were able to score with just 10 seconds left as we take a look at the highlights from game one, that first save from Metzenaris, I couldn't believe he got back in time. That was incredible hustle. Yeah, and then no that boost. shot, that was Oof, that was nasty. The 12 boost. Yeah, the shot was sick. And <laughs> I totally agree with you that it there are few shots that feel better to hit than that cross in midfield where you just nail it on your corner or your car and it just zips towards the net. There are there are a few better feelings. Virtuoso. That was a great save as well. He had to cross the entire length of the pitch, but it was Zamway's shot that was even better. So Vodafone Giants, it was a good response. I don't really know what to make of that game just because I felt like both teams were kind of doing the same thing, right? A lot of high, long passes and hoping they win a challenge in midfield, but no one really opting to carry the ball too much besides maybe relating wave. I feel like he's the only guy on the pitch that's actually trying to control uh, and possess the ball. Everyone else is all about the hardest hits. And that's always been how Relating Wave has kind of played. You even watch him in the corners, loves to be patient, take his time, bring the ball up the wall, go for that dribble if we can, or if he can. We even saw him do that earlier against Tox that led to a goal. And we'll see how this series continues to shape up. Game number one, what was it? Seven goals for Endpoint? Seven to two. Game two, just a single goal. So Endpoint... A bit hot and cold. Let's see which one they will be this game, Jarby. Well, Stake will send one flying against the backboard. Vodafone Giants, a chance to set up here in midfield. That touch from Zamway will certainly make it happen for a few more seconds. Stake with control. He shoveled the ball out over to Tox, and Zamway's there. Uh -oh. And enforced own goal off the post for Zamway, and the Vodafone Giants on top. And this is a tough break for Metza. He's coming back towards net. He thinks he's got to perhaps block a shot. The shot bounces off the wall and hits him. You, that is a tough uh, situation for him. He's trying to be in position in case that shot's on target. It wasn't, but because of him, it goes in. Tough break. End point. Do they get this? No! Whoa. Tox will pinch it off the post. I'm pretty sure the entire length of that ball was in the net. It was shaded. I, I, I don't understand the physics of that play, but Tox clearly knows what he's <laughs> doing. And that pass, Tox doing it all, saves it on one end, feeds steak on the other. What a play. He's eating good. It's a, the same spot too, a different looking pass. But he'll dole out another one for his team. And Tox is looking quite good to start game at number three. Endpoint a little stunned. The cheat up on the kickoff did not work out. Stake will collect the corner boost and be able to clamp down on the opposing corner. So this is good for Giants if Zamway can find a lead on this ball, but he won't do it. I'll have to rely on Tox to come in. Vodafone, Giants, pass, oh, lovely pass. and shot and goal. Tox to Stake, three nothing. Tox. He's a playmaker. He gets the ball by one. Hard pass to Stake. There's no chance they can get to the pass in time. Gets to Stake with great pace, which allows Stake to strike it with authority. And we already have a playmaker for Tox. And that is well earned, Jarby. Tox, a lights out game from him so far. Well, relating wave, looking oh. for a goal. He won't get it. Maybe 
if that ball doesn't fall right back down on top of him, Endpoint have another chance at net, but they got to start from their own corner again. Virtuoso, who has been instrumental <laughs> with his demos and bumps, besides that one right there, he's been kind of quiet in game three. Granted, it's been the opening two minutes. He just hasn't really had a chance because the Giants keep scoring. I think it's one of those situations where adjustments are made. You you, you start playing a team, you're, you're feeling what they're doing, you learn how to combat their strategy. And Virtuoso, he's well known to, to go for those bumps and demos. And now they get to experience that firsthand, try to adjust. And we're seeing fantastic passing coming out from Tox that is tough for Endpoint to really deal with. And I've seen this happen to Endpoint in the past where they get low on boost, they can't really get as much possession, can't get much offense going. <laughs> and now Tox with some space. Oof. Tough for Tox, he low on boost. Didn't want to just give up the ball because he knew two players were about to, or two players were about to spawn. So he just tried to stay behind it and gather speed and just couldn't really cleanly land his wave dash behind the ball. But it doesn't really matter. Nothing really came of it. And when you're up three, nothing, anything that just keeps the ball locked here in midfield is to your benefit. Tox making more great touches. Endpoint completely flat footed right now. They have lost so much of the boost. They can't get anything in midfield. Relating wave has been denied the midfield boost the last three times he's tried to go for it. And he's even getting chipped right there. Virtuoso trying to open something up with a demo, but no gaps show themselves and they continue to be pressed by the Vodafone Giants. Even right there, Tox, patient in midfield. Every delay, more time off the clock. And uh, there you go, Virtuoso will find, he'll find Zamway. Or not Zamway, he'll find Stake, and then Stake will find Zamway. Oh, look, yeah. Zamway should have believed, James. Jarvie, don't worry, Zamway man. I, I don't up think you're time. wrong. I think you're right on a delay, okay? <laughs> I'm sure that'll happen eventually. I knew you were going to find a place for that at some point. Hashtag Gib Gibbs logic. I think we can trend that. <laughs> that could definitely happen. But uh, end point, a relating wave to Mets. Nope. It was exciting for a second. Zamway, nothing for him, but I don't think it matters. The stake will play this one away. Mets and R is trying to close it. And if you're end point, you still at least want some urgency here to get into a better flow for game four, especially in round five of this Swiss. It's already been a long day. Got to find a rhythm to get back into this because the Giants have completely taken control of this series and Zamway just flips another one to the net. And they're kind of doing what Endpoint did to them in game one. Tox was actually parked in front of Metzenaris, who was trying to get back to the net to make a save. Tox just blocking him, blocking his path. Metzenaris wasn't able to make that read. And this is what I was worried about, Jorby. I was, ooh, double tap chance. Ooh. Good pass, another goal coming in. Stake finishing this one off. That'll be a hat trick for him, but this was what I was worried was gonna happen to Endpoint uh, at the beginning of the series. We saw game one, Endpoint had things figured out, but as uh, game two and three play out, this the Giants <laughs> appeared to have figured out the formula, it seems. Yeah, starve them of boosts. Virtuoso doesn't have boosts, really hard for him to demo. That's what I really felt like did them in, like especially in the first half. Like, how many times do we see Endpoint just sitting on their goal line, watching the Giants pass it high back and forth, like just waiting for a shot to come. And then when it does, it's desperate and you use the 24 boost that you picked up of the two pads in front of you just to put the ball up right in front of the backboard again. That's the kind of defense Endpoint were playing for a while there. All credit to the Giants and their ability to control the pitch and take away the options that Virtuoso loves to give his team. Yeah, the Giants out shooting endpoint 11 to 2. As we recap this game's highlights, Tox was making plays left and right, getting that uh, that playmaker award quite fast. Multiple great passes. That one infield pass to stake. And then Tox, you can see him harassing Metzenaris on the wall as Zamway puts that shot in. And then Zamway, that pass out to stake. The Giants 
having their way with Endpoint in Game 3. And if this continues, I expect the series to end right here unless Endpoint can figure out how to get things working again, uh, whether that's through Virtuoso or, or through another route, because they need they need some life in them right now, Jorby. I agree. I think that Endpoint you have to win this kickoff and start on offense. If they get stuck on defense right off the kickoff here, I think we're going to be playing the same tune that we just saw for five minutes. So as the players get set and we're in game four, the Vodafone Giants, after this five minutes, if they win, they're in top eight. They're good for Sunday and Endpoint will be eliminated. This is their last life. Pray they use it well if you're an Endpoint fan. Tox, looking to set up Stake again. They've been really good at connecting on these high passes in midfield. They don't try to go too far, but that second man always following close behind for a sure follow-up, and it comes for free on the rebound. Stake puts in the first for the Giants. And Relating Wave couldn't really go for this one either. Tox. Or no, who was it? Zamway steals the boost right in front of him. Metzenaris can't get the stop either. Endpoint struggling in the boost department so badly. And they weren't able to get in front of that shot. A quick lead out for Vodafone Giants in uh, in game four. What could be the final game in the series and the final game that Endpoint plays in this tournament? Virtuoso trying to buy a little bit of time, but Metzenaris actually has some space he gets by tox barely relating wave now off the ceiling he's got virtuoso close by but he goes for the shot that's blocked by zamway followed up quickly by stake and just when you think there's life for endpoint they have to go the distance from their half again relating wave nice catch but the pop-up forces zamway to actually committed metzenaris Winning the next 50 close rotation for Relating Wave, waiting for that win from Metzenaris. Doesn't come, but he gets back around the ball, Virtuoso. But the defense holds for the Giants. Tox next up. Now Endpoint just diving at this ball in the attacking third. You can tell that they're feeling desperate for a goal. They certainly are in that demo on Metza. And now the demo on Relating Wave, Virtuoso left all alone. Oh. Every time Endpoint gets a little bit of boost, gets in a position, we're seeing demos come out which completely slowed down the uh, the tempo for Endpoint right as they start to get something going. Oh, and Stake was ready for it. I keep getting Zamway and Stake mixed up for absolutely no reason. I'm going to fix that up right now. Stake on that catch will not be able to get by Relating Way, but Tox does the work on the backboard, no problem. Vodafone Giants, no problem in net, and Relating Way gets... Or, uh, excuse me, Metzenaris gets bumped out of position. So for all the talk we have about Endpoint and their physical play, it's been the Giants being physical, giving Virtuoso and company a taste of their own medicine, and I don't think they like the taste. Game four has been a different flavor for sure, Jarby. And Endpoint, time is ticking away for them. We're approaching the halfway point. Still haven't been able to put much of anything on the offensive end. Vodafone Giants, they have been absolutely stunning in these past few games. Despite that quick start, now another one coming out from Tox, who overpowers Metzenaris on the goal line. And it doesn't happen in this replay, but Zamway set this whole thing up when he just stole the ball away in, from endpoint in midfield and then carried it to win the 50 for stake. Like Zamway has had himself quite a series. I don't think we've said his name enough with the amount of work he's put in. We've had Stake be the closer. He's there to finish shots. But Zamway sets up a lot of these opportunities. Talks obviously the playmaker. Make no mistake, though, this is a full team effort for the Giants, and it's a comfortable two goal lead. Endpoint, they haven't been able to put any threat on the net at all. It's a low offense, it's a defensive game, I'll say. Five shots for the Giants, but only two for Endpoint. And when you add them all together, James, they still don't have five. So it's a struggle right now for Endpoint, but a really great game for the Giants. They are taking everything that Endpoint are giving them. See if Endpoint can break out. Time is precious. 
This is it for Endpoint, Jorby. It's gotta be now or never. Ooh. Virtuoso can't find a bump, but it was enough to give her laning wave a chance. Metzenaris can't find the goal. Tox was in the way. And now they gotta try again, but this ends up being a pass Hard from pass. Skate to Zamway. Zamway wasn't able to beat Metzenaris to the ball. Now Endpoint, another break. Three-point passing play. It slips through back to relating wave. Stake tries to stop the attack Bro. and then Tox rotates in. Chaotic on defense, but controlled chaos. And now Tox, the air dribble towards the net. No good. Relating wave takes it away, but another chance. Zamway roller off the corner. A third goal would end Endpoint's run for sure. But they hang on with 40 seconds left, but offense never comes for Endpoint. They've spent four minutes on this half of the field. Oof. And Relating Wave and Virtuoso just ran into each other on the back line. That was so close. It felt like Endpoint was on the cusp and the bump there. Relating Wave is going to be able to put this one within reach. Virtuoso, a wow. key bump on the goal line on Tox. And that might be enough. That keeps hope alive. Well, Virtuoso, when push comes to shove, you got to blow them up. That's been the endpoint MO. And now they need it more than ever. They got to start from their own half, and time is running out. This is just for game five. Tox wants to pass to Zamway, but now it might be a breakaway opportunity for endpoint. High ball, or mid ball, rather, for Metzenaris. Challenge knocked away. Virtuoso gives a high ball and one last chance to end point. One more touch oh. is denied by none other than Tox. The Vodafone Giants, top eight, they move to Sunday. Giants taking out end point after an ugly game one, conceding seven goals. Giants kick it into high gear and takes games, games two, three, and four commandingly, I'd say, even this one. It wasn't really that close for a majority of the game. It, it was that final play from Virtuoso opening up that net that put it within reach. But still, the Giants looked like the better team in this series, Jorby. They deserve this win, and they're going to be securing their spot in the next stage. I think that, you know, some people at home might be able to see why Achieves loves watching the Vodafone Giants. They certainly had some fun plays and a player like Tox, really all three players, Stake, Tox, and Zamway, they are exciting players to watch. And Vodafone Giants, I'm excited to watch their top eight run. This is shaking up to be uh, quite a Sunday that we are starting to deliver. And, you know, James, it's great, but we got one more today. We got to decide one more spot in our top eight. We have that coming up after the break. Don't miss it. We'll be right back.